whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Haus Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com and today we have a brand new bottle from our shop system on whiskey.com. It's from the distillery Wolfburn which is located in the very very north on the Scottish mainland and this bottle is a milestone from that distillery. This distillery is quite young. It was founded I think in 2000 and 12 something and then they put whiskey in Oloroso sherry casks and matured them solely in those casks for 10 years. So this is the Wolfburn Oloroso sherry cask 2013-2023. It's 46% ABV, unfiltered, uncolored and is priced in our whiskey.com shop at 59.90. The bottling itself took place on January the 25th, 2013 and this is, well, the bottling came out to the 10th anniversary of this distillery and Wolfburn uh, got its name from a mythological uh, animal called the sea wolf. So it's as well able uh, to walk on water as on land and uh, this is not a, a mean animal but uh, who is able to see it uh, will be protected by him. <laughs> well, if you have too much of it, you might see it. Yeah. So, well, um, this is a heavy, full, massive bottle with a more or less classic label on it. I like it. And it's, as I said, a natural color, 46%. Uh, Wonderful. Oh, tasting notes. Ah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't want to uh, read that first. First, my impressions, and then probably I read the tasting notes. Well, what does it work? Here we go. See these vapor in it. That means the cork has been very tight and it was filled in Scotland on a high, a high pressure and this high pressure was uh, maintained in the bottle and here we have it. It's raining, it pours cats and dogs, it's really cold. It's beginning of May so it's incredible cold and now the, well, the pressure releases and gave up, uh, gave out these vapors. So wonderful Excellent cork, well done. Yeah, so there's no smokiness in it, nothing to smell. Smokiness, very tight. Yeah, so here we go. Uh, so if this would have been first fill Oloroso casks, the whiskey would have been much darker and probably overwhelmed by the sherry. These are second fill Oloroso sherry casks and you have this sherry smell, fruitiness, dark fruitiness on the top of everything together with vanilla and oak, figs, resins, sultanas, a very, very typical uh, sherry cask. But there is distillery character behind that with a little fruitiness shining through. So the cask is not overwhelming. It's not too strong. Well balanced. Yeah. Cheers. Slightly oily, juicy, some chocolate influence, a little bit of spice in it, not too much. Typically those uh, sherry casks today are mostly from American white oak and are imported from the US as fresh casks for the sherry industry because uh, they are so much cheaper than the European casks. Not a make 
like Christmas cake. Long aftertaste, but silky, not sharp. Not this, this extreme spiciness from the oak. Light sweetness, sweetness. A little bit of caramel. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the maturation in first fill sherry cask is over estimated. A very well done refill sherry cask, which might be used before for having a say a finish for six or twelve months. Then you take this ex sherry cask and reuse it again for a second fill and then you receive this wonderful balanced uh, whiskey which is not too much torn on the side of the sherry and with this uh, dark fruitiness. This is a mixture from the fresher part of the stills of the yeast which produce those um, estery uh, fruity notes together with the wine the oxidized wine from the Oloroso sherry, which gives the darker fruitiness, together with a little bit of spiciness from the oak. So this is wonderfully made. Probably, yeah, you might see that again. <laughs> yeah. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned.